Over the past three years, I have been able to become a CPA, apply and get into a top MBA program, work full time, post bi-weekly on this YouTube channel, read a book every two months on average, run two half marathons, and go to the gym semi-consistently. I have come up with five tips that have definitely increased my productivity. So in this video, I'll share it with you so I can hopefully help you as well. So let's get to it. If you're working full time, you most likely already use your Outlook calendar for work. However, I would even use it for your personal life. I've been unemployed now for two months and the Outlook calendar has been incredibly helpful to keep me organized every single day. So here's my Outlook. We're currently on Tuesday. As you can see, we are currently filming the five productivity tips. And what I normally do is that the day before, so yesterday, Monday, I would plan out what I want to do today, Tuesday. And my first tip is that you should make it very detailed. So for example, today I wanted to make this video, but instead of blocking the whole day and just say make video, I break it down into individual steps. First, I wanted to script the video. Then I wanted to film the video. Then I'm going to film another clip for a different video that's coming out in three weeks. And then at the end of the day, I want to begin the productivity tips edit. And if you break that down into 30 minute intervals, it's more likely that you're going to get it done. I'm going to edit the intro to this video and then the 45 minutes after that, I'm going to edit this clip that I'm filming right now. This way I feel less anxious and I know I'm not going to forget anything because this calendar sings into my phone. So if I'm having drinks and I remember that I want to do something, I just put it in my calendar so I remember. Odds are if it's written down, you are going to get it done. This one is big for me because the truth is I'm addicted to my phone. I use it to text in the thousand active group chats I have with my friends. I use it to watch YouTube while having lunch. I use it to browse Twitter and Instagram while procrastinating. I use it to watch TikTok right before showering. I pretty much find any excuse to look at my phone throughout the day. After reading Atomic Habits, I realized that I had to change this bad habit and I've tried a couple things. First, I turned the do not disturb on, which definitely helped not pick up my phone every time a notification came on, but I would still find myself swiping up on my phone to see if anyone had texted me. So instead, what I do now is that I leave my phone outside of my room because if I want to check my phone, I actually have to get up, walk to the kitchen, check my phone, put it down and then go back and work. This added friction sounds very dumb, but it's very powerful and it has definitely helped me. My third advice is to make your bed every single morning. I actually read a book with the same title a while ago and before picking it up, I thought it was pretty dumb and simple. But after reading it, I realized that it was the idea behind it that was important. It's not that you have to make your bed. It's more so the fact that as soon as you wake up, you accomplish something. Imagine you wake up, you make your bed, you brush your teeth, you get ready, you make yourself breakfast. That's already around four wins within an hour after waking up. That's gonna set the momentum for the rest of the day so you can have a productive day. If you compare that to waking up late, not making your bed, rushing to get ready, not having time to make breakfast, that's already three losses within an hour of waking up. It's just not gonna be as good of a day. I know it sounds dumb, but try it out. It's literally the easiest thing you can accomplish to start the day. And if you accomplish nothing else, at least you'll get to sleep on a made clean bed. Another thing I picked up from work is to organize everything into folders. So as you can see on my Mac, I have three main folders, my personal folder, my work folder, and my YouTube folder. And if I wanted to go to the clips for this video, I would just go to YouTube, videos 2024. And here I have all the videos with all the clips I've made this year. And I actually have the folder created uh, for this video called five productivity tips. And I have the screen recording for the Outlook portion that you guys just saw. Once I have all the clips here, I can even create more folders to organize my clips and make my editing easier. And then lastly on Outlook, as you can see here on the left, I also have two folders. I have my personal folder and then subdivisions and I have my MBA folder with other subdivisions and subdivisions within those subdivisions. It's very worth it to take that extra 20 seconds to save everything and save it to the appropriate folder.
And the last thing I'll mention is more of a psychological tip, and that's not to give yourself a hard time when you're not productive on any particular day. This would happen to me. I would have a non-productive day. I would look at my phone half the day, watch Netflix the other half, and then at night, I'd start thinking about how I wasn't productive. I wouldn't sleep well, and I wouldn't be rested the next day. It's just stress and anxiety that you don't need in your life. What I like to do instead of evaluating what I did every single day is that at the end of the year, I like to sit down, pull out my notebook where I journal and I write random stuff, and make a list of everything I accomplished throughout the year. You'll be surprised how long a year is and how much you accomplished that year. Once you start evaluating your life on a bigger scale, rather than evaluating your individual days, you're gonna feel less stressed and way 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 more productive so honestly no secret sauce no secret tips i think these tips are pretty simple to implement and they don't take much work and they definitely helped me out a lot and i hope it will help you guys out in the future we post videos every wednesday about self-development and personal finance topics so if you want to subscribe that would be awesome and we'll see you next week peace